What is up, Insomniac? Midnight Sun 518 here, back with another maintenance video for you for uh, Sasha, my Tacoma. Uh, so today we're gonna be going into the transfer case um, and doing an oil change. So super easy, literally two bolts. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. So before you judge me uh, about having to take the skids off to do this, the video that you guys just saw a couple of weeks ago, uh, was actually a few months ago for me. So I did have to take the skid plate off in order to get to this. Um, I'm gonna get myself a little funnel to direct the flow here once we take it off. But this is the uh, drain plug for the transfer case and then this is the fill plug. So they're both 24 millimeter uh, sockets. So we'll be using those guys to, uh, yeah. I'm gonna attempt not to get, not to die getting eaten alive by bugs out here. You always want to make sure that you can break torque on the dang things before you do anything drastic like open up the drain line. There we go. Much easier. Okay, torque is not broken. I'm going to grab me that funnel and we will be replacing this gasket. Ooh. A little bit of drainage coming out there. I'm going to bring my oil tray over. So I got my funnel lined up on it here. Pointed in. I'm just going to undo this guy and hope that mostly, son of a gun, mostly goes in the funnel. Yeah. And then we'll just kind of leave this guy here to drain for a minute yay because the sun's going down now the bugs are out I hate everything uh, so we have I bought this genuine Toyota parts kit that just off of Amazon and it just comes with uh, gaskets oh my god it just comes with gaskets uh, for both the front and rear diff as well as the transfer case and so these are the two transfer case ones they are just standard like flat washers so we'll take the old ones off and we'll put the new ones on and once enough, or uh, all the old oil has dripped out, we are then, whoop, as I drop my new ring here, we are then gonna put the drain plug back on. Oh my God, there's so much freaking oil still dripping out of this thing. It's such a slow drip too. It doesn't, doesn't all come out at once, does it? Next step is to torque it down. So this one, uh, I think was set to like the same as the rear diff, which is 36 foot pounds. So that is what we're going to go to. There you go. So now that we have the drain plug on, uh, I put the cover back on the fill just because I was walking away for a minute. But I have myself this handy dandy pumpity pump part with some uh, 75W90 gear oil. Once again, Toyota uh, puts 75W85 gear oil inside of their uh, diffs and the transfer case. However, that is difficult to come by. So instead, we will be using this one, which is just fine. And then you're just gonna go with the pumps until you get it dripping out of the fill line. Um, so this is about one and a half quarts that came out of this guy. Uh, and that's about all that you're gonna get out of it. So now, we're just gonna kinda put that fill plug back on. Just throw it up, as we drop it everywhere. And I believe this one is called out to be about 27-ish foot-pounds of torque. Uh, I don't know why, really, that it would be different. They're the same uh, screw head. Okay, it's all in there for 27 uh, foot-pounds, and uh, we're done. So just make sure everything's cleaned up, and if you got skids taken off like I do, you got to get those back installed. But uh, other than that, there's really nothing else to do, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, oh, yeah, we got to get back in the car. Rooms. Last thing, my dudes. Uh, so right here we have transfer case fluid replacement. This was going to be costing $179.95. It took about uh, a quart and a half to fill. So that would run you uh, about 25 bucks, really 30, because it's 15 per, per quart, right? Unless you go with the gallon, in which case it's a little bit cheaper. 
Um, but yeah, 30 bucks and some of your time versus 180. So, do it yourself. Okay, my guys. Uh, so, I'm obviously sweaty and gross and now have the tent taken off of the truck. Um, so, we're all done with that maintenance item. Uh, it really wasn't hard. Um, it's just I'm sweaty because it's hot and crawling around underneath the truck. I really need a lift. But I hope that you, find, you guys found this uh, at all informative and helpful. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Good night, sign out. Thank <laughs> you.